Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you this new style tower fold card that I've done. So I actually designed the tower fold card, I think it was, must have been last year, probably towards the beginning, and I've done two. So I've done a 5x7 and I've done a 6x6. The 6x6 was last Christmas and then yeah, the 5x7 would have been before that, so it must have been over a year. But I've done another 5x7, but this time I've done a large panel in the, in the centre. So those of you that are familiar with this style, the other ones I've done have had this tower effect all the way down both sides. So if you haven't seen that style, then check out the playlist up here. But what I thought, I was playing around looking back through old tutorials, and I, this is one of my favourite style cards. I just love it, and my mum really enjoys making this one as well. But I thought it'd be quite nice to have just a huge panel here rather than a big panel right down through the middle. So you can see on the back there as well, you've got plenty of room to write your message. So it's done very, very similar to the other ones. It's just instead of cutting all the way down, you just cut a little bit in these corners here to give you that larger section. And then I've just done mats and layers. I've used this lovely, this is the Dovecraft glitter cardstock and then it's also the mirrored cardstock. So I'll share all the links to everything and the papers are using the gorgeous Christmas bell which is, as it says in the title, Christmas papers but I've managed to pull out the ones that aren't particularly Christmassy and turn it into a birthday card. So it's just a nice way to be able to get more out of your Christmas paper packs. You know, there's a lot of papers in most of them that aren't just for Christmas. So yeah, this is what we're going to make. So let's crack on with the tutorial. This is the Christmas bell. It is so pretty, so girly, really, really soft pastel pinks and then like the darker greys and it's just lovely. So I've done um, unboxings of this to see the papers in more detail and stuff, but you can see you've got stars, you've got stripes, you've got more stars there. Then you've just got the bows, which I fussy cut. What else? We've got polka dots, it's like bokeh, kind of, you know, the... Um, it's like the twinkle lights with blurred effect, it looks really nice. And then you've got the fairies which you can fussy cut, so loads of them. So when you're looking at your Christmas pads, look at the other papers as well and think actually, yeah, I can get a lot more use out of that, not just <laughs> during the festive period. I've already gone ahead and done my one. Now because it's mirrored card, it's always difficult on camera. Sometimes the camera goes funny with it and um, it's not always easy to see. So I've done that one, but I'm gonna go through the, and do the template with you and um, it's much, much easier to see on this yellow card. And I'm gonna be drawing lines and everything to make it nice and easy for you. So we'll talk through all of these mats and layers afterwards. Now, what you wanna do is a few score lines and then there's a bit of cutting. It's not hard to do, and I've hopefully I've simplified this as best as I can. So along the 10 inch side, you wanna score at one and a quarter, and at two and a half. And then if you just flip it around so you've got the other end here and again do one and a quarter and two and a half. Okay, then you want to score at three and three quarters down to two inches. Okay, so three and three quarters down to two inches. Now I'm just going to go slightly above, so just, you don't want to go any further, but if you just go slightly above, because we're going to join it all up in a minute anyway. And then if you come along here and you want to score at six and a quarter again down to the two inches. If you want to bring a ruler in, and you can line that up along the two inches there and you can come down. But like I said, I'm not coming all the way down, just a little bit, just so we can make sure we get nice joins. Okay, so that was at six and a quarter. Then flip it around so you've got the other end now at the top and do the same score lines again. So it was three and three quarters down to, just like I said, two inches. And then six and a quarter again down to the same. Okay, and then what I would do because of the way we're folding it is flip the whole thing over and just go over the one and a quarter and again I'm just going to flip that and go over the one and a quarter again just so you've scored those on both sides because we're now going to fold that so it becomes a valley fold. So you want to fold the outer score lines up, okay, and again this end here and then the next one here you're going to fold so it becomes a mountain so we've done that. So you should still have these two inch ones here. And I'm gonna mark these with my pens in a second. I just want us to get this in place. Okay, so you'll have that kind of fold with those two inch lines there. Okay, so in terms of score lines, that's what you should have right now. Then what you wanna do is just fold this second score line, fold it right over, okay, and pop it this way. What you're then gonna do is score 
or you can draw a pencil line, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to actually just bring in my metal stylus because you are going to score through two lo lots of paper, so you might find it easier just to draw a pencil mark, it's entirely up to you. These are going to end up being cut lines, okay, but you want to do, so I'll start down here actually, so you want to do half an inch just down to that line there, that score line that you would have done. You want to do that a half an inch and then at one inch, then at one and a half, and then at two. And now that two we can bring right down and if it's not quite joined you can go back in the other way and just join that up. I just think it's better to do it that way in case you go too far on that two inch score line here and then you're going to start coming into this area which you want to keep nice and neat. You don't want any score lines going over. So again you're just scoring at half an inch, one inch, one and a half and two down to that score line that you would have done before and then you want to come along here and you're going to score at five again so you can see where I'm just kind of not joined up but I'd rather that because it's neater if you go then and just join the other side up so that's at five and then five and a half six and six and a half Okay, and then when you open it up, you'll find that you would have gone through slightly onto the other side, but we're going to cut it up these lines, which is just how I do it in the other one. Then you want to do the same on this side. So you're going to fold it under, so you've got those two pieces on the back. So again, I have the two pieces on the back on that side, you've got the two on this one. Pop it in, and you're going to score exactly the same. So one and a, so half an inch, one inch, one and a half, and two. And then five, five and a half, six, and six and a half. Okay, and then open it up, and again, you should have these score lines all within these sections. I'm just going to draw over these again with my pen so you can see it clearer. Okay, so that's what you will have. Now, yours may all be score lines, or these here might be a pencil line. Okay, because like I said, what's going to happen now is you're going to fold it in half and you're going to cut, but you're going to be cutting through both sides, that when we open it up, there will be cut lines through all of these. So again, I'm just going to highlight in red, just so it's easy, and this I'll have a photo of this in my blog. Okay, so I'm just going to put red against these lines here, so you know that these are the cut lines. These are the only cut lines that you will do, okay? Okay, so I've just gone over all of them in red so you know that they're your cut lines. So next, like I said, you're just going to fold it that in half. So make sure you do have the two panels, okay, on the back. You should only have the one panel on the front. And I'm just going to cut down the black line just for the purposes of the video. You're just going to cut down every one to that score line. Okay, so now they're all free. And again, I'm going to do that on all of these sides here as well. Okay, so I've cut down all of them, open it up, okay? Now, these outer ones, you want to fold so that they are a valley fold. And because we scored them on both sides, you'll have a valley fold. The next one will be a mountain fold, okay? And again, with that side there, so you'll have that shape, okay? Then, because we've cut down all of these, what you want to do is the ones that are above, the ones that are above this piece in the middle, you want to push in. So that one and that one, so you can see I've just pushed them inside and then the next so then miss one and then the next one just push in and again on this side miss one and then the next one and then if you fold it back on itself fold them over for some reason that one's a bit crooked I must cut it funny but it doesn't actually matter as long as it all folds flat but now you'll have that effect so again I'll just show you on this side so the one so either side of this piece you want to push in and then skip one and then the next one push in. If you just put your finger in between there, again just fold it all back and there you will have the tower fold. You really get to appreciate the design when it's like this. Obviously I've got all that pen on there now on the, for the video but that's how yours will look more like this. Now if I bring across this one, so that's the one now I'm going to be working on so you'll see oh, pop that one back in, that one's popped out, so don't worry if they do because you just move them around, but that is how it should look. So I'm going to pop that to one side, let me get rid of this. Okay, so now you want to decorate, so I've got all these mats and layers, so my one for the middle, so this one here, I've got this pinky glitter card and it is four and three quarters by two and three quarters, and then the layer on top is two and a half 
by four and a half. I pop some foam on the back and what you'll find best is when you're sticking anything to glitter card or to the mirrored card, you're best using like a red double-sided tape, so something like this, okay? Or a foam as well, which I'm using for the back piece. So this has got quite a lot of dimension on it, so that's all on foam. These are both on foam, you can see there. So that's that one. Then I've got these two pieces that go above and below and you've got the mat is one and three quarters by two and a quarter and then that layer on top is one and a half by two. So you want two pieces of those sizes for there and then I have got these ones that are going to go either side and these measure six and seven, no six and three quarters sorry, by one and then the layer is six and a half by three quarters. So everything, I pretty much always do that, I drop everything down by a quarter inch increments. So you just get those nice even layers, but they're gonna go there. You also want the same sizes again that I gave you for that, for the back piece. Now, it just so happens that mine are the same again, because although this is patterned, it's so subtle, you can actually write over that. So I'm gonna have that on the back. Then I've got this really lovely happy birthday, which I did share in my what did I get, because it's such a nice size. I've been after a really decent size happy birthday that's not got a fancy font, just a font that's gonna last and be timeless. And I've been using this a lot. And this is by Creative Expressions and it's really nice. So I'm gonna die cut that with some of the scrap pink mirrored cardstock that I've got here. So I'm gonna get all that stuck down. I'm gonna die cut my happy birthday. And then to finish off, I fussy cut a couple of the bows from the paper pad and I just stuck them. You can see I've got one there on a bit of foam and one there. Okay, so there is the finished card. I love it. I'm not sure whether I prefer the, I always say this, don't I, whether I prefer one or the other, but this one is the pink mirrored card background and that is the pink glitter card background. So yeah, I think they both look really nice. So if you've got someone that just loves shine <laughs> and something that's gonna catch the light, then the mirrored cardstock one I think looks really, really cool. And then you've got that one there, which is just really, really sparkly. It's not really picking it up so well because it is more of a, um, it's a smooth glitter. Yeah, I love them. I think they're really, really lovely, really pink and girly. <laughs> what isn't then not to like? So yeah, so there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed this updated style of my tower fold card. I really like it and I will continue to evolve it over, you know, every six months or so, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please check out the playlist for the other ones if you have not seen this style before. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.